Okay, I chose one more spaceship view from the templates. We're going to do all three of these. Uh, and I'm going to show you how we're going to do it the quickest. We're just going to use a transform mask, just basic stuff, uh, which I've showed you guys many times before. Uh, what we're going to do is going to go up to our layer that we're using, which is the spaceship. We're going to right click. We're going to say add uh, transform mask, just like that. Once we have that added, we're going to make sure that we're on zero, the selection there. And we're going to switch over to animation curves. Once we're in animation curves, uh, we're going to add a scalar property. So we just told Krita, this is where we want the spaceship to begin. Okay. Then we're going to go up to our frames here, which is with the zero. We're going to put where we want the spaceship to end or which frame the spaceship is going to end on. So we're going to do it for 40 frames. We're going to hold this drop. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to now tell Krita where we want the spaceship to end. So we're going to select our spaceship. And we're just going to drag it right about here. And we also want it to be tilted quite a bit. So that's where we want it to end. When we hit uh, our stop button, it's going to take a step back to the beginning. And it has rendered the uh, little diamonds for us, showing us our beginning point and our end point. And if we hit play, it's going to render and it should fill in all the other frames. There you go. So we have our first scene for the spaceship uh, dropping. We haven't put in any backgrounds yet. Uh, we're going to our second one. We're going to do the same exact thing. So we're going to go, we already have our transform mask there, but we'll start a new one. Right click, add.